here's a, an integration question where we actually find the area under a curve and the volume of revolution. Okay, so we have a curve with equation uh, y is equal to 1 over the square root of 3x plus 1. The shaded region bounded by the lines x is 1, x is 5, and the curve and the x-axis is shown there. Find the area and then find the volume of revolution when this area is swept around the x-axis. Okay, for part A, nice and straightforward. The area is clearly going to be the integral when x is 1 to 5 of this function. Okay, now this function I'm going to actually write it as 3x plus 1 to the negative a half with respect to x. Now it's a simple integral I can actually do. Add 1 to the power, divide by that number, and divide by the differential of this bracket. So I'm going to have 3x plus 1 to the half. I'm dividing by a half, and I'm dividing by 3. So I'm dividing by a half and dividing by 3. I can think of it at like that. And I'm working it out between 5 and 1. Okay, 1 divided by a half times 3 is actually 2 thirds, which I can, this here is 2 thirds, so I can take the 2 thirds outside the bracket and I'm really substituting into 3x plus 1 to the half, or the square root even, it might be easier for us to think of in this case. So 3x, the square root of 3x plus 1 between 5 and 1. Okay, so keep that 2 thirds there. Put 5 in here and you get the square root of 16, which is 4. Put 1 in there and you get the square root of 4, which is 2. And 4 take away 2 is actually 2. So 2 times 2 thirds is equal to 4 thirds. And the area I've got for the shaded region, therefore, is equal to 4 thirds. So I'm going to write up here, this is equal to uh, 4 thirds units squared. And we're done for that first part now. So I'm going to rub this out. Now, the volume, what is the formula for the volume? Well, the formula for the volume is the volume is, it, is the integral between the x numbers of pi y squared dx. Okay, so we're going to work out the integral between 1 and 5, pi lots of it, y squared, if I square this, I actually get 1 over 3x plus 1 dx. Now this here is an, sort of an x to the power of negative 1. It's a lun answer. So keep the pi outside here. Okay, if I did put a 3 in there so the top was the exact differential of the bottom, I'd have to divide by 3 outside to fix it. So I'm going to have myself pi by 3 lun of uh, 3x plus 1, all between 5 and 1. So keep that pi by 3 there, substitute in 5 and you get ln 16, substitute in 1 and you get ln 4, so take away ln 4. When you subtract ln's you can divide them, so this is pi by 3 ln 4, and we're done in that regard, we have finished. Not quite finished because it said give your answer in the form k pi ln 2, so I'm going to make this pi by 3 here, I'm going to write ln 4 as ln 2 squared, okay, and then I'm going to bring down this power of 2 down here, so I get myself the answer um, 2 pi over 3 ln 2, and that is in the form it wants, it in fact wants some number times pi, so 2 thirds pi ln 2, and that is the final answer exactly as it wants in the question.